Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about vices. Earlier today I was shown a video and it's kind of sad so I think we should talk about it. So roll the clip. The video that we're watching is from CNC Equipment. They work on heavy industrial equipment. Things that most hobbyists don't normally work with. They are currently working on a dozer project in this video rebuilding a hydraulic cylinder. Later in this video what you're going to notice is they have their hydraulic cylinder and parts held into a reed 106 vise. If you notice, they have a large impact on the end trying to remove a nut. Oh my goodness, the front of the vise just broke. It slipped out of it. No, it broke. Yeah, it did. Dang it, hell. And it's unfortunately, at this moment of time, during heavy impacting, CNC notices that the vise has become loose and the part is no longer being held. Upon further inspection, they noticed that the vice jaw has broken off of their beautiful vintage 106 reed vice. This is a sad day. Nobody wants to see these old reed vices break. Now put yourself in their shoes. Production is stopped. Everybody's standing around trying to figure out what to do because the vice is broken. That time is money. Productivity has slowed down. And in this case, they happen to get lucky because the nut came off. But in a real world, it rarely works like that. Normally you're trying to now figure out another solution to this problem that the vice has now failed. Now put yourself in the position that you're already running behind. It's already late in the day. What is your option when your vice breaks? I don't think we realize how much we lean on this one tool and when it fails, it really upsets the workflow. And it can be a real inconvenience when it fails on you right in the middle of a job. Even though this wasn't a rush job for CNC, they're still out the tool. And by looking at it, it looks like this vice is repairable. How are they going to be certain that this vice isn't going to fail again if they were to repair it? I would like to share some feelings with you guys about this. From a vice designer's standpoint and a mechanic myself, I have been in their position. And when I was faced with the opportunity to build the world's best bench vice, I wanted to do that. But here's the thing. I get accused of building a vice that's excessively large, overbuilt and too expensive. But what I do know is that people are using these vices in heavy duty applications. And I do not want this hardtail vice to ever fail you. I do not want this hardtail vice to leave you stranded. I do not want this vice to ever leave you wanting more. And this vice is for people like CNC. So CNC was faced with an option. What do they do? Find another reed vice to replace the one that broken? Or do they search for a replacement? And I am overwhelmed with excitement because in the comments in this video, I cannot thank you guys enough for requesting that CNC replace their broken reed with this, a 614 hardtail vice. It is truly awesome that you guys put the hardtail vice in the same category as a reed 106. I am truly honored. And I'm happy to report that CNC is a new owner of a 614 vice. And I look forward to seeing how CNC beats up on this vice. So how can we be sure that the 614 is going to live up to the 106 lifespan? For a couple reasons. The 614 is made out of ductile iron, which behaves just like mild steel, versus the gray iron content of the 106. Two, we do extensive testing in-house with impact testing with a giant hammer. We do torque tests, we do side load tests, and all of these tests are done to the extreme, way past what you guys will ever do in the field. So that's how we can sleep at night, knowing that CNC is gonna love their new 614 vise to replace that beautiful 106 that has served decades of use. So what I recommend CNC do, fix the jaws on the 106, put it on the corner of a workbench and dedicate it for light use. That way they know it'll continue to give long lasting life with those repairs. But then designate all the heavy use to the 614 and let it take the brunt of the workload. So the beauty of owning a 614 is if there were ever any wear that would happen to this vice, we have replacement parts. Unlike the reed, they're no longer in business and they don't sell any replacement parts for those. So I'm happy that CNC will be supported as they continue to use the vice. I want to remind you guys, my priority is to build vices as insurance so you don't lose productivity and time. It seems like tools now are being built for planned obsolescence. But I want you guys to know something here at Fireball. We do not believe in that. I want to build a product for you that will last decades and are serviceable so you can continue to use them for many lifetimes to come. 
So I would like to leave this video on a positive, thanking all you commenters and viewers suggesting the 614 Vice as the adequate replacement for the mighty Reed 106. It is truly awesome that you guys see its value and potential in an industrial work environment. And I can't do it without you, and I'm gonna continue to test and make awesome products for you guys, because I want you guys to win. So until then, I will see you guys on the next video.